Hi, Hi Floss Tube. This is Annie and Isabel, and this is the Annie B's Folk Art Channel. Welcome. Um, I haven't been on for quite a while. I was having some technical difficulties, but my way to solve them is to bring Isabel, my daughter. This is Isabel, Hi, and she you. is going to hold everything up for me and make sure that it focuses because she has better eyesight than I do. So, here we go. Um, so glad you guys are here. I'm glad to be back and we'll just get started right away. Um, the first thing I want to show you all are my new designs that have been out for a little while. They're um, autumn designs and it's almost too late to show them so I just want to get them on here before it's too late. So the first one is called um, Thankful Pumpkins. So that's the chart. And then here is the design. This is how I finished it. This is um, obviously inspired by Priscilla and Chelsea. And they were like so gracious to share their ideas with everybody. I love this finish. I'm so excited. This is a um, thrift store frame that I painted with chalk paint. And then I just, you know, finished it as a flat fold and mounted it on like a gingham fabric and put a little twine around it and there it goes. Okay, so that's Thankful Pumpkins. The next one is Bittersweet. And this one I finished into a little pin pillow. Okay. There you go. And the back just has a little patch of wool pumpkin over where I slid it to stuff it through the back. And it's finished with wool on the back. And then around the edges it has um, like a silk ribbon that's just stitched on around the edges. And the next one is this one <laughs> <laughs> called Make Hay While the Sun Shines. And this one is just, that's an old saying that my dad used to say all the time. Um, he was raised on a farm, so obviously it was important to get all the haying done this one. while the sun was shining Ooh. before the winter came. <laughs> okay, so I finished this. This is another, like, obviously inspired by Priscilla and Chelsea. This is the Hobby Lobby. Um, one half is the chicken wire and one half is the chalkboard. So I used, just like she said, the magnets and the sheet metal, all that kind of good stuff. And um, the chalkboard, my oldest daughter, Chelsea, did the design on it with um, chalk pens. So I love it. She did a great job. It's a little bright, but, you know, we like it. <laughs> okay, so that's it for the designs that I have. Um... Next thing are some finishes. So the first one, I don't know where my patterns are. Uh, <laughs> hold on while I try to find them. I thought you were all organized. Me too. Okay, the first one is called Autumn Leaves, and it's by Prairie Schooler. And I thought I pulled the chart out to show you, but now I can't find it. I don't know what I did with it. Anyway, Prairie Schooler Autumn Leaves. And again, another Priscilla and Chelsea finish. <laughs> <laughs> so this I um, is a thrift store frame. Chalk painted it white. And then this is like a flat fold. You know, just glued on there. I didn't have sheet metal, so I just used some old tin stars that I had laying around. This is chalk board paint, which is different than chalk paint. And this just makes it so that you can use it like a chalkboard. So I did that, and then there's my finish. I love this so much. I love this every time I walk by it and look at it in the house. It makes me happy. I don't know what I did with those patterns. Okay, the next one is October. And this is a um, Country Cottage Needleworks. And this is just a little clip frame that I found at Walmart. It doesn't really quite fit on there. This is a flat fold again. And when I display it, I have flowers in the front, so you can't really tell that it doesn't really quite fit on there. <laughs> and it looks just fine. So 
Okay, um, next one is my Prairie Schooler Santa ornaments. So, um, you know, everybody knows these Prairie Schooler Santas. One was released each year since 1984. So 1984 is the year that I got married. So when I realized that, I decided to do them all in order. So I finished the first one. And I'm finishing it just like a flat fold ornament and I'm going to do them all that way. I did this one on, um, it's on a 28 count uh, antique linen that I dyed with coffee and tea, but I don't like it because I feel like it's not dark enough. So um, the next ones I'm going to do on, I have over dyed some uh, fiddler cloth because to me that looks like that Davos that they call for, which I don't really know what that fabric is, but so I'm trying that for the next one. I may go ahead and order some of that fabric just to see, but for now, that's what I'm doing. Oh, and then the last thing that I finished was called um, Salt Fox Village. This is Little House Needleworks. And it's part of their sampler ornament series. Oh, here's the pattern to autumn leaves. <laughs> here's autumn leaves. <laughs> Going back. Yeah. All right, so I haven't obviously fully finished that one yet, but I do have it done. Okay, so that's finishes. Um, the next thing is whips. So our works in progress, um, I'm going to let Isabel <laughs> show her. She's a new cross-stitcher. Very new. She did stitch something when she was like a little. But, um, which I can't what really remember. What did I stitch on You stitched like a Lizzie Kate something. It was like a, it was like a birth thing for somebody oh, we knew who I had a baby. It I was like, it yeah, was. it was a bear for, um, Mrs. Surridge when she had. Oh, okay. So it was a family friend yeah. and she just had a baby. So I stitched like a little bear and it was cute. Long time ago. She was very, about very eight long. or something. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so then she has come back to cross stitch a little bit. So, so. this is what I've been working on for about like a lot of months. <laughs> <laughs> um, there are four mini kimonos, and this is by um, it's called Mini Kimonos Cross Stitch Pattern. It's PDS or PDF. PDF. <laughs> PDF. Um, that we got off of Etsy, and it's by the Cross Elephant. And I started this about like. Four months ago. <laughs> and, I don't think it was that long ago. Oh, uh, it's long, but <laughs> um, and I have to take this out because I completely did it wrong. It's too thick. Um, and then I have to finish this one. And I did um, change a lot. I'm pretty sure I changed all of the thread. Yeah, all the colors. All of the yeah. color thread. So, and I'm making it for my older sister. Um, because we're Japanese, so I thought it was so cute. And so Chelsea acts surprised. Yeah. You get it. Oh no, I hope <laughs> you don't you see this. <laughs> you know she's going to watch it. <laughs> so these are like all the threads. I know they're in bags, but these are all the threads that I have been using. I think it's so cute and pretty, and it'll re go really well in her room with the blues and the reds. It's so Japanese. So that's all I have because I, I'm kind of failing on the cross stitch. <laughs> But she's a good helper here. So, okay. Um, my whips are, oh, my Santa's Village. So, everyone has seen, I'm sure, the Country Cottage Needlework series, Santa's Village. Um, I'm on the sixth house, so this is the one I'm starting on now. All I have of the sixth house is the snow and the little, like, thing underneath. So, you might have to go back. So this is where I'm at. Here's where the sixth house is going to be with the little reindeer. It's called Reindeer Stables. And uh, yeah, I'm working right along. Then I have the bottom. So I'm like, once I get this one done, then I'll be halfway through. I'd love to get this done this year. We'll see. <laughs> I don't know, but because I really have to start model stitching again. So I don't know if I'll have time, but yeah, I love it. I love all the colors. I'm doing all everything that was called for, the same fabric, the same threads, all of it is exactly what they call for. And I love it. It's so pretty. And then another one in the Little House Needlework Sampler series. This one is 
poinsettia something? What does it say? Potted, Potted poinsettia. poinsettia. And here's where I am. Work in progress. The flowers. It's really pretty. Yeah, it's going to be gorgeous. I'm just trying to get some new ornaments for my tree because I'm tired of what I have. Okay, and this is the second Prairie Schooler. So this is 1985. Um, Santa. This is all I have done. Started this last night. It's my very there pitiful little start <laughs> on that. And then I'm going to start a stitch along. So if anybody else is interested in also um, stitching all the Prairie Schooler Santas from the beginning, which was 1984. So there's 33 of them so far if you go all the way up to 2017. Um, so if anybody else wants to stitch them with me, I'm going to do a hashtag, which is PSSantaXS on Instagram. So, hey, join along. Okay, and then I started Christmas Day, which is another Prairie Schooler. And I want this to replace the autumn leaves in that frame that I have. And here's my pitiful start on this. Okay, and I see I forgot one of my fall finishes, which is this one. Oh. So this, I don't have the pattern to show you, but this was um, Barbara Anna, and it's from one of those um, Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher magazines, I think a fall one. I don't know if it was 2016 or 2015. Um, that's where I got it, and I finished it again as the flat fold, put twine around it. This is just like... I don't know, homespun little fringe thing. And then I just attached it to this galvanized tray or thing that I found at Hobby Lobby. So it just has the magnets on the back. This cute little flower. And uh, that way I can do a Christmas one. I am going to paint black, like a black square around it because I feel like it would show up better. I don't really like it in my room where I had it it was just kind of faded out so I feel like if I had like a black square inside so that it would look like a galvanized border it would look better so I'm gonna do that next time so yeah this that finish okay um, plans okay so my plans for I'm gonna do a lot of Christmas stitching that's what I'm planning on doing um, coming up I've got a couple of um, little, or I mean, country cottage needlework. So this one, Merry Christmas, my dear. Got that pattern. I've got the fabric on the back, the, the you know polka dot fabric. So I'm going to start that real soon. Um, this little Lizzie Kate that I got in Green Bay, Wisconsin, when I went to visit the Stitching Bee and met all the ladies up there and. This is going to fit perfectly in this little tray when it's stitched that I got at the thrift store for a big, what? $2. It was half off, so I got it 99 cents. And I'm going to chalk paint it white because I really like that. I know I could use it silver, but I like the way it looks with the chalk paint. So that's for that one. And then this one that just came out, another Country Cottage Needlework. Got the polka dot fabric for that one too. And another tray, which is going to fit it perfectly. And I'm also going to chalk paint that white. So that's my plans. Chalk paint, chalk paint. Yes. Um, Signature color. And then I'm busy kitting up and getting ready for um, the 18 starts in 18 days, which will start on January 1st. I'm sure it's insanity that I'm going to start 18 <laughs> projects, but I'm going to because there's a lot of stuff I want to stitch. A lot of it is Prairie Schooler. I have to say I'm like obsessed with Prairie Schooler right now. And I've been all over as, a, as they call it, the Bay of Evil, looking for the old out of print patterns and some of them that I really want. And uh, my husband bought for my birthday like half my wish list from 123 Stitch and I got a lot of Prairie Schooler all the months, almost, I think all the months, yeah, and a bunch of the little ones. So there were some duplicates. <laughs> 
So because we have some duplicates, we're going to do a giveaway. Woohoo! So you will win November, and this is one of the reprints. So I was able to find the hard one, so sorry, I'm giving you the reprint. <laughs> so November month of Prairie Schooler, and this is the 2014 Santa. I already showed this. So if you want to win this, um, don't put anything about a giveaway in the comments, but make sure you're a scriber and you liked my video, and then um, answer a question in the comments. So what should we have to oh answer? Oh my goodness. Um, Something cross-stitch related. Okay. Well, I'm not like huge on cross-stitch, so <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to come up with a question. Um, oh, I know. What's your favorite Prairie Schooler chart? There we go. There's it's tons of one. them to choose from. So tell me what your favorite Prairie Schooler chart is, and you Subscribe could win. Subscribe and like yes. our video. Yes. And you can find me. Where can you find me? Everywhere. <laughs> you can find me on Instagram at Annie B's Folk Art. You can find me on Etsy. I have an Etsy shop where you can buy PDF patterns and then also some hardcover or hard copies that I mail to you. Not a hardcover. Um, at my Etsy shop, which is also Annie B's Folk Art. Um, I also have a blog, which is Annie B's, without the folk art, dot blogspot dot com. And I am also on Facebook as, I think that's Annie B's Folk Art, <laughs> too. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> Search me on Facebook, you'll find it. Okay, I think that's all the places and all the things. Is that everything? I think so. Okay, thank you so much for watching. We'll see, um, we'll do the, the giveaway in about two weeks. So, um, I don't have a date for it right now. <laughs> We'll put it in the comment below. There you go. We'll put it in the comments below and um, I'll also post it on Instagram. And so just tell me what your favorite Prairie Schooler is and you could win these two awesome charts. November and a Santa. And if you want to stitch Santas with me, Santa ornaments, it's um, P, let's see, PS Santa XS on Instagram. All right, thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.